Hey guys, this is TJ, back again with another episode of OSCP Preparation Path. In this video, we will be taking over the Mr. Robot themed machine, Steel Mountain. If you struggle with it, or just want to take a look at another approach of solving the challenge, you're definitely in the right place. Without further ado, let's dive into it. So, let's deploy the machine first. First things first, we need to do the port scanning. So, let's fire up the end map and identify the potential attack vectors. And when I see the results, I found the web servers running on the port 80 and 8080. So, first let's focus on the port 80. I bet this guy did a pretty good job at that month. But what's his name? Just right click on it and copy the image URL and you'll get the first answer. Now in the initial access, we can answer to those questions with the help of nmap scan. So, this is the time for the another web server. Let's quickly browse that. Wow, there's HTTP file server running on the port 8080. And when I click the link, it shows the Regeto site. As per my experience, this Regeto version is vulnerable. But let's search for the proof of concept. I mean the public exploit. See, this Regeto is vulnerable to remote code execution. But, I'm not going to use this exploit, since it is available on the Metasploit. But, keep that in mind, always try to avoid Metasploit, if you are preparing for the OSCP. So, you can see here, we have the exploit for Regeto. Let's use this. And then, by typing the show options command, we can get the options that we want to give. Now, we can set the options. First the R host. R host will be the target IP. Then the R port will be the 8080. Then type L host, that is my local IP, after that, type exploit. Great. You can see, our exploit is working. Finally, now we got the Metaprinter session. Question 4 asked us to find the user flag. So, let's convert our Metaprinter into the shell, like this. And move to the user's directory. There is a username called, Bill. Let's move into there, and grab the flag on the desktop. Now that, we have an initial shell, on this Windows machine, as Bill. We can further enumerate the machine, and escalate our privileges to root. To enumerate this machine, we will use a PowerShell script called, PowerUp. We use this as to evaluate a Windows machine, and determine any abnormalities. Basically, PowerUp aims to be a clearinghouse, of common Windows privilege escalation vectors, that rely on misconfigurations. And, they gave the PowerUp download link also. This is why, TryHackMe is so beginner friendly. Now, let's download this, to my Kali machine, and move to the working directory. Since we are dealing with the Metasploit, we don't need any Python server to upload the script. We can use the upload command in the Metasploit to upload the script. For that, you will need to exit from the shell and type the file name with upload command in the Metaprinter. As you can see, we successfully uploaded our script. To execute that, I can type the load PowerShell command. So, it will load the PowerShell extension for us. After that I can type, PowerShell, so now I will get the PowerShell terminal. After getting the PowerShell, let's execute our script. The most common way I end up using PowerUp is, by using the invoke, all checks function. Which runs through, all relevant checks, for the machine, and outputs a status report. Basically, this will run a series of scans on the target, to look for vulnerabilities, based on predetermined signatures. In this case power returns that the machine is vulnerable to uncoded service path exploitation in the advanced system care service 9 service path directory. Additionally, an important part of the output is that the service can be restarted, which is necessary for exploiting USP vulnerabilities. If we look at the location of the service, it is a program folder. Normally, we can't inject executables inside. But since we have found the vulnerability, we can inject our malicious executable with the name of that service executable. So, let's create with MSF Venom. Now, we have created our executable with that name. So, we can upload it with Metaprinter upload command. Before move to that service directory, we need to stop the current running service, like this. Then, in the target machine, we can move our executable to that service folder. It will ask to replace it, and type yes. That's it, we have replaced the original service with our payload. 
Now, let's start the netcat listener on the Kali machine and start the service in the target machine. Great. We got our shell. So, if I type you in my command, it will say, I'm the system user. That means, we have successfully owned the system. I can grab the root.txt file now from the admin user. Now let's see how we can use this public exploit to gain access. So, I can download this and modify like this. Then we need a netcat listener to upload it to our target machine. I can download it from the internet or you can use it from your Kali machine. We need three terminals now. One is for the payload, another one for the HTTP server, and another one for the netcat listener. And keep that in mind, you have to run the payload two times. One is for transfer the netcat listener and another one for getting a reverse shell. Now that we got the initial shell, so, you can do the same thing as the previous method for the privilege escalation. I'm leaving that to you for the practice. If you find any difficulties, feel free to ask in the comment section. That's it guys for now. I will meet you guys soon with another tutorial.